Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new Irish girl in town. We have a new Becky Lynch in town, and her name is Lyra Valkyria. I mean, this is not something that I'm saying lightly, Kenny, because I look at what happened at Raw with Becky saying, like, hey, you're pretty much the next one, and I might be leaving. Mm -hmm. She was all sad. We made a whole video about this, so you can go ahead and check it out in the channel after you watch this video. But if Becky's leaving, with everything that's been happening back in NXT, uh, the whole time Queen of the Ring was going on, we had so many segments between these two. And it wasn't like it was just a ta passing of the port torch, but you know, kind of divided into many, many segments, in my humble opinion. Do you think, Kenny, that this is basically what they're doing with Lyra right now? She's the new Becky Lynch. You know what? Uh, I didn't even think about that. Like you just said, this is kind of like Becky Lynch passing the torch. A few weeks ago on Raw, we saw Becky Lynch walk into the ring, and um, I think she gave like Lyra an endorsement, didn't she? Yeah. And yeah. Then now we see her again in the locker room with Lyra saying, listen, you know what? You got to keep going. So you, I think that may be where we're going with this, but making Lyra... Becky Lynch's replacement is not going to be as easy as an endorsement. They got a lot of work to do here. Now, when she gets in the ring, she shows up. I wasn't familiar with her work in NXT, uh, and even going back further than NXT. Yeah. Didn't she take a pin to Becky Lynch? She actually pinned Becky Lynch. <laughs> oh, she pinned Becky yeah. Lynch. Yeah. So that's. I mean, there's a lot going on there. But um, Lyra, she does show up. Lyra. I got to remember, Lyra mm -hmm. shows up when she is in the ring, but I think she's going to need more than that, man. Um, the match with Nia Jax was great. I love the finish. She survived it and came back and wrestled on Monday Night Raw, and she did her thing against Kyrie. but you need more than that. I need some type of promo character work because it just seems like she doesn't really have much going for her right now. Like Liv Morgan has like kind of like the bubbly kind of crazy thing going. You look at Tiffany Stratton, she has the pretty Barbie thing going. Becky Lynch, her red hair does a lot for her. And she was kind of bland before Nia yeah. Jax punched her into, in the face and she turned into a bad woman. You need something like that for Lyra right now because I feel like right now she's just... You know, we said it last week. I think she's still too generic. But, I mean, I think she does have that potential once you kind of get get whatever it is up out of her. You got to spark it out first. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think about her entrance then? Like, you said generic. I think we both agree. I think we can all agree that her uh, theme song is super generic. But I think the entrance kind of has a cool vibe. Yeah. The entrance The entrance is cool. But, I mean, what was the... um? I don't want to call her the Asian girl that just got fired. Zia Lee, um, maybe? Uh, what was her name? Uh, you said Zia Lee? Yeah, was, was she Chinese? She had a real cool entrance, and I was like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. this is cool. Like, I think she was doing, like, martial arts stuff. Yeah, Zia Lee. Flashing all over the place. So, I mean, you can have a cool entrance, but once you get in the ring, um, you got to be able to perform some type of character. Like, she's, like, Lara Valkyrie. She's supposed to be, like, a bird, right? Like, a Valkyrie. Valkyrie? Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I need more than that because those can't talk to me. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm a wrestler. I'm a wrestling fan mm -hmm. who grew up in this Vince McMahon era where he gave us these crazy characters. So maybe it's not as important as it is today. But that stuff is just really embedded in me. I don't know, Carol. How do you feel about it? I think uh, nah, you're completely right about it being even you know important to this day. Like um, you need that stuff in wrestling. You need that stuff in boxing. You need that sp stuff in. Yeah. Any kind of sport, honestly, because the sport itself, if you're a fan of it, if you're a hardcore fan of it, if you play it yourself, you're going to watch these things, sure. But the rest of the people, they need the story. Even if it's soccer, mm -hmm. they're going to need like, oh, this team is an underdog. They had so many, you know, injuries and uh, trouble in training. Will they be able to, you know, take on this badass team and still win? There you go. That's the story. And they do it, man. Mm -hmm. They do to a point where it feels like, you know other sports like football or MMA or soccer or whatever, yeah. it almost feels like they're also scripted in some way or in yeah. any way they can be, you know? Uh, it's like, you need that. You need that with Lyra Valkyrie yeah. too. And uh, I'm Lyra Val Valkyrie. We'll, we'll figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. We'll figure yeah. it out. We'll it, get it. It takes time. <laughs> but I feel like, I, like the best compliment I can give her right now is, because I agree with you, Kenny, where I think she needs a character. Um, but she's like a great template because in the ring, she's perfect, I think. Like, mm -hmm. she actually plays a role perfectly. And she's a smaller woman and she wrestles like that too. She knows herself very well. I really appreciate that. I think you can basically put her up against anybody and, um, you know, she'll have a good match. 
think one of you guys in the chat said, or you know, in the comment section said, uh, she's like the new Natalia now. And I think that's a very accurate way to go ahead and assess her when it comes to the in-ring. And for now, the character too, because Natalia also is really bland. But I feel like when she speaks, she does really have you know, a good voice. She does seem passionate and she really does seem like she speaks from the heart, unlike, say, like an Austin Theory or many other people. So uh, yeah. she just needs to find that, yeah, a little bit of spice, like you said. Um, and it could be her turning into a heel. It can be, I don't know, something with a Valkyrie. What I like to say is she looks like Jennifer from The Witcher anyways with the black hair and all the mm -hmm. crazy dresses. Maybe get a character close to her. We have to know kind of her real life character too because, you know, that's the best thing. If you go ahead and kind of take your real life character and turn it up into an 11. Uh, she just seems like a really nice person. I don't know yeah. if she has that mean streak. But that's what I would like at the very basic level would like to see some mean streak from her and kind of mess people up at least, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But I'm definitely satisfied. I'm way more impressed than I thought I would be, but uh, Lyra, Val uh, Lyra Valkyrie, God damn it! I'll learn her name. But yeah. Lyra, 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 Lyra. Lyra, Lyra. Well, we gotta mm. Remember, she's a liar. She's lying to us mm. until she gives us a gimmick. Yeah. But um, yeah, like, you, like I said before, when she came up to the main roster, I was completely unfamiliar with her. Brian was singing her praises, but... I said she has to impress in the ring. She has to have the character. I think she passes the ring portion. She yeah. got squashed in between Nia Jax's booty cheeks, <laughs> and she came back. So, shouts out to her for that. But I one. just need something else going with this character, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they set that thing up with Liv Morgan for Lyra Valkyria. I mean, does is that where she goes next? Because let me tell you, by the way, looking at this from a long-term perspective, I feel like Lyra has the sky's the limit for her. Again, we opened up the video by saying she might be the quote-unquote new Baker Lynch. Obviously, not the same in every single way, but like kind of in her position. And Baker Lynch was one of the biggest women's uh, rosters and still is, by the way. <laughs> but she could go to EW. Again, crazy to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah. Like, I think she what? removed her um, bio, like the WWE thing from her bio to Baker Lynch did. So that's seeming more and more likely. <laughs> And with that kind of void, like that's perfect for Lyra. So, but what were you gonna say, yeah. Kenny? I was gonna say um, she, for her to be the next Becky Lynch, like I said earlier, she's just gonna need that moment, that moment that stands out for her, uh, like Becky standing in the crowd with the bloody face, and I think she can blow up from there. Now, I don't know if they're gonna get her on the road to facing Alexa Bliss for this championship. Um, because Alexa, or do you, you mean want her? not Alexa? I miss Alexa Bliss, y'all. If y'all, <laughs> I don't we know if they're do. gonna get her uh, facing Liv against uh, up against Liv for yeah. this championship mm. right now. Because if she, you if she's next up, if you want her to be your next girl, I don't know if you want to put her in the ring with Liv right now and have her take that loss. I think her first championship match should be one that everybody's excited to see, like where you get her to this point where the people are saying you deserve that championship match. So even if she loses, you can have her slip on a banana peel or have it. And in some type of like disqualification or something, WWE doesn't mind doing those finishes. And after that, then people will be like, oh, you robbed her. And they'll kind of push for her to get the championship and they'll put her in that spot. So WWE knows that the fans will get behind yeah. somebody and then they'll kind of nag them until they put them in the mm -hmm. spot. So they can kind of manufacture those things these days. Yeah. And I think that's what they need to go for when they're building stars from now and uh, going on out. Agreed, man. You said she needs to create a moment. We saw that with Nia Jax. She can create moments. She just needs to yes. create a moment that will put her over. And mm -hmm. I think, like, again, looking at the future, she has a bright one, I think. It's going to be pretty good for her.